Welcome guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to show the array data with pagination using Laravel. So uh, you might have some data in array that you want to show in pagination. So currently, if I go to the controller, I am working with the books controller. And here I have an index method. So I'm using the book model to get the data and I'm using a paginate method to get three posts. You can see here and the pagination is working just fine. Now this pagination is provided by Laravel, but what if we have some data that is in array form, not in the way we have here, or you might want to filter the data and get the array and then you want to uh, show the pagination, any, can, any kind of scenario there can be. So you can use that. So let's get started and see how we can add a custom pagination in Laravel. All right, guys, so let's get started. So first thing first, I'm going to show you this article. The link is in the description. So if you need the code for working and converting your array to pagination, you can come to this article to get the code if you face any confusion. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this function from here. I'm going to copy it in my controller where I want to use it. So I have this controller where I have this index method currently, and this method is paginating and returning this view file. So we, we are passing the books. So if I go back here and refresh, you can see that we have the posts number three here. So if I change uh, to two here, just for just to see, it changes to two. So this is happening because of Laravel pagination. Now what I wanna do, I wanna convert and I want to get pagination from an array. So I'm going to comment this one out and I'm going to uh, first going to paste the function outside below uh, this function. So I'm going to paste here. So this is a paginate function. Let's see what this function does. So here, first thing first, we are passing the number of items. So it's basically your array. So you will be passing it here. Then you, we have second argument. Uh, how many posts we want to show on that uh, page. So per page, if you want to show four, 10, you will be passing the number. Then we have dollar page. This is basically, if you want second page to be the first page, you will be putting the two number here and it's gonna work that way. Now in the function starting, we are set, uh, getting the page. If it is not set by default, it is gonna start from one. So that's what it is happening here. Then we have number of total items. So array has how many values we are passing here. Here we are getting the current page. So whenever we are going to go on the next page, we are going to be using this current page here. Now offset is basically when we are going to the next page is how we are getting the data. So here you can see we have current page. Let's say you are on third page. So it's, this is going to be three. Then we have per page. So we have four, for example, per page. So it's going to be four into three, 12. And then we have per page minus, so it's going to four. So it's going to be offset eight. And it is going to be after eight, you get a four latest posts and that those posts are going to be displayed there. Now it might get a bit confusionful here, but when you be working with this code, you will get the more idea. In a moment, we are going to see that as well. Now we are basically using the length of wear paginator class. So we need to include it in our function. So let's do that first of all. So I'm going here on top and here I'm going to call this class. So it's use and uh, what I do is simply copy this one. And I'm going to change it from here, illuminate. And then there is going to be pagination and then paginator. And the another one is exactly the same. All we need to do is to change this one uh, to length aware paginator. All right, so we need these two classes to work. Now, uh, as I already commented this, we don't, know, we don't have books anymore with pagination, so let's work with that. So what I do here, I simply say book model and I'm going to get the data. So I'm just gonna copy this order by from here, the way it was done before. So we get similar way of data. So it pass here. And here I say get instead of paginate. So it is going to get us all the data. So let's see what we're getting here. So we say dollar 
books. So if I DD here, dollar books, and we go back here, refresh, we get a collection of data and we have 50 records there. Now, as we want to work with array, we can convert this data to array using two array method of Laravel. So once you pass this method, this is going to be an array. Refresh, you get an array of 50. Each array has data in array format. Now, as we have array data, now we can work and work, uh, make it paginated in pagination mode. So let's do that. So I remove the DD and here I'm gonna say double this and I'm going to call this method. So I'm gonna say here paginate. So we're using dot this to refer to this class and this function is here. Now here we need to pass the array first of all. So I'm gonna pass this variable and afterwards how many uh, uh, elements we wanna show in per page. So I'm gonna pass here two for now to see the difference. Now I'm gonna pass this just like here, dollar books, all right. Now here I'm gonna say dollar books path. We need to pass a path for pagination, so I'm gonna uh, leave it empty for now. And afterwards, once this is done, um, we are ready. We are all set to work with. We are passing the same dollar books here to the view file. Now I'm gonna save this. Now if I go to the list dot blade file, here I'm doing nothing much. Basically, here we have the uh, each set if there is books we are for reaching that book says book and then we have the book cover book title that's just displaying this data and for the links we have books link links at the bottom so let's go there refresh the page you can see that we have two posts if I click on next page it's working just fine uh, if I remove it and try again three five Perfect. Now if I want to change it, all I need to do, go over here and change the number. So I say here three, go back, refresh. Now we have three posts here. So you can see that it's working just fine. So we have array of data and that is paginating using this method. Another thing that we have these posts here, if I go to second page now, we have this post on top. So what I do here, I go back and here I pass the third argument as two. And this argument is basically to the starting from which page. So I'm passing two. So you can see that we are on page two. First post is this one. So what I do, I'm going to remove this. And now we're going to be the main page. And you can see that it is the same post, same content. So it is now working from second page. So if you want to revert it back, just pass one or just leave it because uh, in the function we, it's already taking care of uh, page one. So if I save this, go back, refresh, you can see the post change and those posts are now on the second page. So yeah, this is something uh, can be useful. If you like the content of this channel and you want me to create more videos like this, please support me on Patreon. You can also subscribe to this channel, like this video and share with others. Thank you for watching.